we chose to be a part of the Kids Ready NC initiative because we were looking for what's next. Um, I believe that we should be working to be better tomorrow than we are today. And in order to do that, we've always got to be on the cutting edge. And so Our committee chose to be a part of the Kids Ready program really because we felt like we were ready as a committee to do this work. We've been working for a long time, very collaboratively in Catawba County. Um, on Ready Schools initiatives and so it was all about kind of making sure that kids are ready for school and what that means and then transitioning them into kindergarten but the kids ready work really gave us an opportunity to extend that reach up to third grade and really look at what that means for families and children to make sure that they're on grade level reading. Hickory Public Schools decided to be part of the leadership team for Kids Ready NC um, because we were approached by the director of our workforce development board um, about the Kids Ready initiative. And as we had discussions, we realized that if we are going to work to create a system where our, all kids are graduating prepared for college or career, that we really had to focus on the early years. Um, as a member of the faith community in Rockingham County uh, in Reedsville, uh, I, I wanted to be a part of the leadership team for the Kids Ready Initiative, uh, essentially because we share so many of the same core values. Um, first of all, that uh, we're, we're trying to help kids, we're trying to build kids up, we're trying to grow families and support families, we're trying to uh, make sure that needs are being met. What motivates me personally to do early childhood development work is that when we're talking about children and a healthy community, as a public health director, it's incredibly important that the children that we have growing in our county, in our community, are healthy and they can't be if we don't give them um, the attention they need, the right um, information, education, the right environment. How can we not invest in children? How can we not view that as one of the most important investments we can make? Um, I think I've seen firsthand as a parent, I've seen in my professional work that providing children what they need early on has a huge lasting impact on their lives long term and it has a huge positive impact on our communities long term. Participating in Kids Ready for Us has really helped for us to stay structured and to be accountable to each other. Participating in the Kids Ready and See initiative has helped us um, reach some of our goals by giving us additional technical assistance, helping us think about ways um, in our community that we, we could move the work forward, um, gave us additional strategies and tools we could use with our community. Some of the greatest wins for us in participating in Kids Ready really has been our willingness to go for some additional new initiatives and then to get those initiatives. Um, and in each case, we shared with the potential funders or the potential um, project managers of these newer initiatives that have came, that have come since Kids Ready started, that we're part of Kids Ready, one of four counties participating statewide, and I think that that gave some credibility. The early wins for us in Catawba County related to our Kids Ready work really relate to the collaborative spirit that we have, and we've been able to do some amazing work with kindergarten teachers, um, with kindergarten principals, and with early childhood educators, kind of bridging that gap among all those different folks so that everyone's on the same page about what children really need to be ready for success by the time they get to kindergarten and beyond. So Kids Ready NC provided us the opportunity to kind of take that step back, um, to pause for a minute and not just focus so much on programs and services, but how does everything we together to benefit children and families overall? We started our journey, I'm very committed to looking at children's social and emotional well-being, knowing that um, social and emotional health is so, so important to children's academic success and so important to children's long-term life success. So we, um, we embarked very enthusiastically, um, and I think we have made some great strides in terms of understanding more about the importance of social emotional development. And uh, you know, a lot of explaining, hey, help me understand this. Um, so that's been the challenging part. But at the same time, it's been enriching, uh, you know, that I have learned how these systems work. I have learned where, uh, where the inequities are and how to speak up and use my voice in the community to be able to, uh, to, be able to point those out. It's, One thing know. that we learned is that there are communities across our state who are struggling with the same issues that we're struggling with. And what I believe is that if we bring all of that work together as one entity that we really could move our state to the next level. We found great value in having folks assist us who weren't living in our world day to day. 
they understood the work and they understood some of the struggles we faced, but they weren't in our county. And so they brought a really fresh perspective and helped us, I think, really move ourselves out of our box some. We know that the early years of a child's life is where we can do put the best investment to make the longest term um, impact in their lives. It really is about the end game for our community. It's where we need to invest the money to make the biggest impact on children, families, and ultimately the workforce in our communities. So. Being a part of Kids Ready NC, this effort has been tremendous. This has been the coolest, one of the coolest opportunities I've had in my career. Our community matters, my friends matter, um, I'm passionate about it, and I just want to keep that work going. They're everybody's children, they're my children, and it's incredibly important that they, they do well and that we give them every chance they can have.